Hello, this is Paul Haefner, Application Product Specialist. We're going to go through some of your initial basic settings for the Hawkeye system. One of the first things we'll need to do is make sure we tell the system what size nozzle that we're using. To do that, we're going to go into the gear symbol, and then we're going to hit the tractor and the gear. In here, we'll see where we, the window for the NCV tip size. And to change the size of the tip, touch in the window, select the tip that you're going to have on the machine, and then hit your back arrow. You can see now our tip size has changed. We can come back to the home menu. Now here we'll enter the rate and the pressure that we wish to run. So we can change our rate. And we can set our pressure. And with that, it will give us a speed range that we can run in and we will maintain our pressure and our rate. In this example, it's 5.5 miles an hour to 15 miles an hour, and everything will be good. On the right-hand side, you will see that we have two presets for rate. We have a 10-gallon rate and a 15-gallon rate. So if I'm running two different rates in the field, or I can quickly change from one rate to the other. So you can see my rate window did change. The speed window that I can run in also changed. It's now 3.7 to 10. Now we can change what we have in here for the presets. by going to the gears, preset settings, and here I can adjust my rate presets. So instead of 15 gallons to the acre, I'm going to change this one to 20. Now below that, you see I also have pressure presets. So if there's a couple different pressure ranges I want to run in the field, I can change those as well. And then if I want to use those same buttons as a bump rate, I can tell it what the bump rate is for either my rate or my pressure change. And then here is this window is showing us what do we want those buttons to do. So right now it's on rate presets. I can go to a rate delta or that bump rate. I can use it as pressure presets or I can use it as a pressure bump. So depending on which is important for my application, I can have those two quick keys operate either rate or pressure. Now the check mark below it, if I put a check mark in here, now by touching on the gauge on the run screen, it will change what we have over on for the quick keys. Go back to the home screen. Now if I touch in the rate, you'll see now I have my rate bump. If I go to my pressure, now I have my pressure presets in there. Now if we want a stationary spray, we'll need to enter a manual speed in the, into the system. Go to the gears tab, and you'll see self-test right up here on top. I can enter a self-test speed. Back to my home window. Now you'll see my speed is coming up inside that box. So now I'd be able to turn the booms on and stationary spray to test, check, or clean nozzles.